Hi, this is Gilly Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, our quote of the day is by Buddha and says, Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. There is a belief that if you get what you want, you will be happy. But this, as we have all experienced, is not true. When we fulfill our desires, they will give us relief for more and more, only for a short period. We will then find something else to desire and leaving us feeling unsatisfied and unhappy. But what if it didn't matter whether you got your desires or not? What if you could be happy and live in the world at peace, true peace with yourself, which is not dependent on whether you get your desires or not? When we are in a constant frenzy to achieve our desires, we behave in a somewhat violent way, meaning a way that is littered with a lot of effort, intensive work and search for control. And what if instead of this path, we could choose a path that releases this effort and just allows what is there for us to enter our lives. When we are in a state of allowing, things are not so difficult. Much less effort is required and there is much less stress in our life and the results are much better than we could have ever imagined. So how can we achieve peace of mind while also moving towards a happier and more successful life? Well, the answer lies in our perspective. When we have a desire, but we are not attached to the result of our actions, but rather are doing our best to serve a higher purpose, a connection with a higher intelligence, which I call God, then we may be at peace in this world. Serving a higher purpose allows us to, albeit, take part in the experience of life, but with a true connectedness to who we truly are, a part of infinite intelligence. Although I studied much formal education in universities, I also studied a lot of alternative studies, including Kabbalah for nine years. I remember in one of my lessons, my teacher said that we are like rocks that have been taken off of a mountain. I don't know if he understood how much this sentence rang strongly with me in every part of my being. It was as if I understood everything in that brief moment. You see, the rocks are of the mountain, but have smaller, but are smaller um, in magnitude and have been separated from the ma mountain. These are the only differences between the rock and the mountain, magnitude. So let's say that when the rocks are separated from the mountain, they form an ego that differentiates them from all of the other rocks so that now living on their own, um, they will be able to survive. This ego is one that instills separation in us from all that is around us. The ego created for our survival is really a hindrance on the path, on the spiritual path to truth. The ego says that there is no mountain, that we are only rocks and we have to care for our own needs. But the truth of the matter is that we are all rocks that have been temporarily separated, temporarily separated from a very caring and loving mountain. We may all come in different shapes or forms, but we are all connected and all come from the same source. So when our desires align with the desires of the mountain which really has no desires, but is just of love and care and oneness, then we will have the help of the energy of the mountain, so to say, to fulfill these desires. But when our desires are not aligned with the true purpose and higher self, and our higher self, then we may suffer some kind of hardship to realign us with our true path that is connected to a higher purpose once again. One of my clients in her advanced stages of cancer told me that she felt as if cancer was a wake-up call to change her direction in life. I told her that this is so true. We get subtle messages during the course of our life, and if we do not listen, then the messages get stronger until we finally understand them and make the changes needed. We get calls to wake up from the slumber, from the sleep that we are living our, our lives in constantly. So we wake up to our true identity of being part of, our, of this mountain. This is our true purpose in life, 
to wake up to our identity, that we are part of a mountain, and to help others do the same. Reconnect. Each rock may have its own desires, but when the desires are for the higher purpose, these desires no longer are attached to results. Whatever will come of our effort is perfect. This is non-attachment, or rather, surrendering. And when we surrender to our higher self, the one that is direct, the direct part of the mountain, then we will see ourselves reach much more than we ever imagined possible. When our desires come from the false self or the ego, the one of separation, then we will only reach so much. And certainly, peace of mind and bliss will never be the result of our accomplishment. Whereas when we move through our higher self and surrender the outcomes with the belief that if something is right for the good of all, then it will succeed, and if it is not, then it will not succeed, then whatever you do, you wish for it to be in alignment with your higher self, but you completely release the result from the picture. You surrender. In September of 2018, my meditations became deeper and deeper, and in November, I found my connection with God. I had always been connected with my spiritual side, since a very young age, but I never reached complete detachment from my physical self. Until one day, during my meditation, this changed. Before this moment, every day when I would meditate, I would still have some strings attaching my physical body to my identity. I was too afraid to release these strings, and this is how I stayed for a long period of time. But on that particular morning, within the meditation, I decided to let go. I remember the deep fear that I felt moving through every cell of my body, but I did it anyway. I released all of the strings binding my identity with my, uh, binding my body and my false identity with my true self that morning and reached a level of awareness that one could call an enlightenment experience. I was back to being of the mountain, so to speak. I was connected back to the source. All of my decisions from that moment on have come from this place. I remember being in a place where divorce from my second husband was inevitable, but I did not want to face reality. I was afraid to even ask infinite intelligence uh, whether I should get a divorce or not, even though I was talking with infinite intelligence every single day. I was so scared of the answer. In the end, I gathered the courage and asked. The answer was very straightforward. It said, yes, you should, that I should get a divorce. So that week, my ex-husband and I wrote our divorce agreement, and we have both been much happier and have stayed great friends. Many things have changed in my life since that meditation. A simpler way of life that is confounded with the coronavirus lockdown is inevitably what happened. As Buddha says, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Peace is happiness. When you are in a truly right spot for you all, and all areas of your life are in, in alignment with your higher self, then all you know is understanding and peace. And the only job you want to do is to bring others to a higher level of consciousness in your own unique way, through your own unique gifts as being a special, unique rock from the mountain. I have been a nutritionist since I graduated from university with my first degree in 1997. Since then, I have continued to study, but my focus for healing has changed over this period. You see, everything we experience in this world is to take us on the path back to our origin and to, take and to help others get back to their origin through our different uh, unique ways. We may desire beautiful things, a beautiful home, a loving relationship, and good health, and this is not wrong to desire. It is actually very important to desire these things if the purpose of all of these desires is not just for our personal accomplishment of them, but rather as a means to bring us closer to, on the path back to becoming one with the mountain. All of these desires can support us by being an inspiration, a help, or a support for us to connect with our true nature. And when our perspective changes in this way, everything changes for us. There is no more attachment to the results because we know that whatever needs to happen will happen. Now, as I said, this definitely does not mean that we should not take any action. 
It just means that our actions are coming from our true self rather than from our ego, rather than coming for our own personal good, from separation, all of our actions come from a place of oneness. And understanding that we are all part of this mountain, but have been separated only in our point of view, but not in reality, is a true understanding. We, we are all interconnected with all life forms around us because we are all part of the same mountain. All creatures, all of nature, and everything that we are aware of in this world is part of this mountain, but it has taken on a different form. Therefore, when we reunite with the mountain, all of our behaviors will change. We will become the best version of ourselves, which we have always been, but our ego, ego has caused us to forget through a feeling of separation, which leads to a lot of suffering. So, <laughs> as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself to help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life do I keep getting messages that I am ignoring? And what is really right for me when I remove my ego, the feeling of separation, and think from my true ident identity of being part of the mountain? What is my true purpose? As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and connect with your true self over and over again. So the affirmation to close this video, the affirmation of the day is everything is happening only for the highest good of me. I am and everything in my life is a divine expression of, of a loving and caring God or mountain or whatever you want to call it. So tell this uh, affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned a lot and you, you gained um, a kind of form of awareness that you didn't have before. And uh, if you did, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for many more videos of this type. And also visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to help you improve your health, to help you reach your best ideal version of yourself. Thank you very much for joining me.